What is up everybody? If you can't tell, I have my anchor shirt on, my fedora, and that means it's time for another cruise. That's right, we are here in Barcelona, Spain. Got in the other day, it is a beautiful town, but we are here for a cruise. We're getting on a Mediterranean 11 day cruise on the Norwegian Epic. Crystal's finishing up her makeup right now. I'm finishing up getting ready, getting all the bags ready so we can get down to our car. But if you haven't done so already, click that like button, click the subscribe button, and click that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos. As I said, here we are, Barcelona. Mediterranean cruise, 11 days, Norwegian epic. I think I covered everything. We have never done anything but a Disney cruise, obviously. So you're gonna hear us saying, well, Disney, they do this. Well, Disney, they do that. We're gonna compare things, but we're not really comparing. It's just the only thing we have to go off of. So it's just a basis point of maybe something someone does that someone else doesn't do, which is comparing. I know, I know the definition, but I'm not comparing in a positive or negative context, more pointing something out. We'll have a whole different video on pros, cons, all those things we thought of. Like I said, this is our first non-Disney cruise. We are super excited, cannot wait to do it. We're here in our awesome room at the Intercontinental Hotel in Barcelona. If you ever come here, stay here, five stars. It is amazing, a wonderful hotel. Everyone's been amazing here. I'm, I've said amazing a lot. I'm gonna go finish getting the bags ready, getting stuff together, and then we're heading to the port. So first thing before we get going here, I'm gonna show you, that is the palace right there. That's the view from our room. Now it's a museum here and we walked over there too. It's like literally a block away. It was awesome yesterday to walk over there. But uh, there it is, I'm trying to get the glare, not to show you. But you know, there's just our random, random hotel view. It just has a palace in it. So here we have our luggage tags, just like on a Disney cruise, you get luggage tags. However, these ones you print off when you do your check-in and they approve it. There is a e-document thing you have to print off or download. Then you just print these off. We bought these luggage tag holders on Amazon for like $12, we got five of them. And we just printed them off, folded them up and stuck them on here. Otherwise, it says staple here. And you just throw it around there, staple it. And obviously if you don't have a stapler, the porters at the terminal will. And if you somehow don't have your luggage tags, the porters will have something you can use as well. So do not stress. We have arrived here at terminal A in Barcelona. We had a nice little private transfer that picked us up, made it super easy, dropped us off right here. And the porters met us as soon as we got off the car. There's everybody, there's Josh and Taylor and Crystal. And there he goes, he's got all our bags. We're heading off. Let's go uh, cruising the Mediterranean, folks. All right, well, that was chaotic and awesome all at the same time. Only chaotic, because I didn't know what to expect. As Soon as we got out of the car, Porter took our bags, we were in the terminal, through check-in, everything in like maybe 10 minutes. Like granted, we are the first boarding group, which wasn't supposed to be, check-in started at 11, we got here at like 10.30. At 10.37, we were handed our room keys. So that is something different here. We get handed our room keys at check-in, but we got those, got them right here. There we go. Got our cool lanyards from Taylor and Josh. We're ready to go. And if I hadn't said already, we were on a group cruise with our friends from Travels with Josh and Taylor. It's gonna be a great time. Gonna be a bunch of us here. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, we're here in Barcelona in the terminal, Terminal A. We're ready to go in. And the, the ship looks quite quite large. Looks larger than uh, any ship I've been on. So tons of firsts on this cruise. Let's go have an enjoying first time doing all kinds of things. All right, our number has been called. It's time to board. We are boarding group three. And they lead us through a gift shop right here. If you want any merchandise, you got your messy jersey over there you can get. If Crystal wants some Pringles, we got Pringles. All right. We got all the jams. We got all our peeps. Let's go get on the Epic. Oh man, I missed it, but we had like, we got dancers, we got musical instruments. They got a whole party going up here. Here we go. There's the ship down there. There's our ship. It's time to go. I'm giving Taylor a thumbs up for a picture. All right, we are crossing over. Oh, I didn't fall through. 
We are here. We're in Barcelona. We are on the Norwegian Epic. We made it. How exciting. Now, like every other cruise ship, we're going to go to our muster station and then we're going to uh, go eat. All right, making our way to D6. That is our assembly station. We got a chandelier there. We got to go scan in. Your card isn't active until you scan in at your muster station. We have made our way to Garden Cafe, which is the buffet, because of course you got on a cruise, you got to go eat. It's very white, very bright. Feels nice and wide open. Nothing crazy here. Looks like we got a carving station over here. Salad station. Oh, they got just wine right there on the dispense, which we already did stop at the bar. We do have a drink package which was included with us. Right there, we got the port out there. So let's go get some food. All right, here's the important stuff. We got an entire case here of desserts. And also, Crystal just realized down there is another set of buffets. So there's more down there. Looks like we got blueberry and lemon tarts. We got chocolate praline cake. German chocolate cake up there. Definitely getting that. Passion fruit cream cake. That's Crystal's favorite fruit, so I know she's getting that. We got some jello down there. We got strawberry cream cake. We got some lime jello over there. Yeah, these look really good. All right, I'm, I'm really gonna go get food this time. So here on Norwegian, we have scooped ice cream. It is included with the buffet. This is quite exciting, because I'm a big fan of ice cream. And you can't go on a cruise without soft serve. We got vanilla, chocolate, obviously you can make a swirl. And we got a wine station right here. Look at that. So I'll eat the soft serve and you swipe your card and you can get one of these glasses here. Crystal set. So over here we have our kids area. Looks like right here you can make your bun up for your burger. We got fries, chicken tenders, hot dogs, burgers. And over here we have Looks like pasta bolognese, a couple pasta dishes, and they're making pizzas right here. How awesome is that? All right, I survived the buffet, came back with my food. We got braised short ribs, potatoes, a ham and cheese panini, some carrots, mushrooms, green beans, and some strip loin. And Crystal, we can't figure out what this thing is. It tastes like a honeydew. She said it tastes like honeydew, but it literally looks like a pear if a pear was a melon. Anyway, she's eating it, and she says it's good. So it's a win. All right, so after a really good buffet, again, it's buffet food, but it was very good. I enjoyed it. We are out here. That's right outside the cafe. There is a outdoor buffet right over here and on that side. So you can sit at any of these tables and have it. You get your towels right over here where you have to scan your room key. And then over here is the Waves Bar. And that's where you can get your drinks. And our drink package, I believe, oh, there's Crystal, I just found her. Our drink package, we can get any drink 15, under $15. So pretty much almost everything on the menu, it says. So anyway, I think Crystal got the drink of the day, essentially. No, I just got a, a cocktail. Just a oh, I thought the getaway cocktail. drink was the drink of the day. Oh, yeah, it was, it oh well, it's that. with our drink package, yeah. so it doesn't matter. So They're all drinks of the day, I guess, on that. Yeah. If you got a drink package, it's a, this is all new to us. We never had a drink package, so it's all a drink of the day. Yeah. All right, so we are trying to decide if we are at the front of the ship or the back. We aren't quite sure, but we found some ping pong tables. We got paddles and balls right here, and you're allowed to use them from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., and you just return them when you're done. And then inside those glass windows we saw an arcade. And they have a rubber duck claw machine. At some point, we are going to make Crystal play the claw machine for rubber ducks. We didn't bring ducks this cruise, sadly. We should have, but we kind of forgot them. So we're going to come over here. There's the Port of Barcelona out here. All right, so I'm not going to go in there right now, but this is the Spice H2O area. It is adults only. It's got a little tiny pool in there. It's got a movie screen, as you can see, and tons of chairs. Both these sides, there's like six layers of lounge chairs. So plenty of chairs in there. As we come around back here, 
So come around back here, we find Crystal. And looks like we have, oh look, we're in Epcot. Just noticed that. And then we have a rock wall straight ahead. It's kind of blown out right now. There shortly you should be able to see it. And here we have a rock wall. And I don't know if this is a swimming slide or just a slide. I think it's a swimming slide. Not positive. And then we have the kids splash area on the other side of that. So this is deck 15 on the Epic so far. Here is the other side of Port Barcelona. Our hotel is somewhere in there. That's where we stayed. And up top, let's see if I can find it. There is a fortress up there on top of the hill. It's just so cool, all the history that was in this town and it's gonna be in all the ports we're going to. So we were on here for 11 days, our longest cruise. So far, it started off pretty well. All right, so we have made our way to deck 14, which is the fitness center, the spa, all that stuff. This is also the floor, our, the deck our room is on. This is huge. Like, look at this. Treadmills all the way down there, ellipticals, Stairmasters, bikes, all the way. Then over here you have all of your machines. This is one of the largest fitness centers we've ever seen on a cruise ship. And you know Crystal, she's here every morning, so she is in heaven right now. You got kettlebells over there. Huge. Very huge. Wow. All right, so we have made it to our room. I don't know if you can see there through the patio window. Crystal's out there taking selfies on the balcony. Yeah, let's start with our room tour. We are room 1450, 14050 here on the Norwegian Epic. It is a club balcony suite. First off, if you can't tell, it is a curved shape room. Uh, we have a nice mirror right here. Full, full length mirror. Actually, that's really nice. Then you have all these, this is all cabinets right here. All along there, that's all cabinets. There's a closet. You have your couch, your couch is right here. There's my hat. And then we have our bed, which looks quite spacious actually. Really like that. Wow. It looks like these are, no, no, those are not. Okay. I thought maybe up top here, those were cabinets, but they're not. So these, how do we open these? Okay, at some point I'm gonna figure out how these open and I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to. And then we also did figure out that there is a safe. It just took us a long time to figure out what all opens and what doesn't and literally everything does open. So this right here is where your life jackets are. Hope we never need those, but I did find a safe because that's what I was looking for was the safe to put our passports and extra money and all that stuff in here. So we do have one, just your normal hotel safe. So it's exactly like what we had at the Intercontinental in Barcelona. And then you got one extra shelf down here to use if you need it. But I mean, we legitimately have so much space in this room. It's a very, very big plus. So we got our TV obviously right here in front of me. And you see all this water? <laughs> so there's all that. It looks like more than it is because that's a mirror. And then we also have this over here. So we bought two water packages. And I'd asked for one to be delivered today and one to be delivered like halfway through the cruise just so we have bottles of water to take with us on our excursions. But they brought it all at once, which is fine. But you're just gonna see a lot of water on our counters throughout this endeavor. So you, as you go along with us, you get to watch how much water we drink. So anyway, looks like we have a closet here. Oh, this whole thing opens up. Yep. So there's a closet, a couple hangers there. Okay. And this is another mirror, obviously. There's me. More hangers over here. If you need no hangers, obviously just ask your stateroom attendant. Then over here next to this side of the bed, we have the Waves magazine, which is Norwegian's magazine. The room service bar, which room service is a extra fee. I think it's $5 right here. Uh, if you want to do the continental breakfast like I do all the time on Disney, it is included with your reservation. Then we have some shelving right here next to the bed. Once again, curved. All right, so I had to interrupt our room tour because Arnold, our stateroom attendant, brought our luggage. Our luggage just showed up, so that's awesome. Now here's the most interesting part 
of this room. First off, here's the couch again, sticking with that curve theme, which I think the curve theme I like better than I thought I would. It makes the room feel much bigger. This does feel like a good size room. But uh, we're still in the bedroom, and there is our sink, okay? There's our sink, just to give you an idea. There's our door, the floor, the carpet. There we go. So there's our sink. Here is our toilet right in here. There's our toilet right there. There's the door to close yourself in on the toilet. There's the front door. There's our toilet. It's definitely different. Here is our shower. So remember, front door, bathroom, toilet, front door. Here is our shower. There's our shower right here. Looks like a very spacious shower. It's curved. Okay, it's got the handle up there that you can detach and use. I love using those. It comes with your conditioner, all that stuff like normal. And then we have, oh, it's squeaky. We have our frosted glass door right here. And you step up into it because it is also a bathtub. So you have a bathtub. However, there's my wife, there's Crystal. She's loading the waters into the mini fridge. Actually unloaded these. Oh, we have Pellegrino in there. But these are not. Those are not included? No. Okay, those so would cost extra. Tags. We will not be using so those. We took these out. <laughs> yep. But uh, as you can see, she's in the bedroom. I'm in the bathroom slash entryway hope you into like our your, room. Hope you like your sailing buddy. Yeah, so make sure you're sailing buddy and you are really close because you're going to have a very intimate moment here with how this bathroom is because here's your bathroom door. Bye, Crystal. I'm in the bathroom. Oh, hi, Crystal. I'm not in the bathroom. So that, that's the bathroom. There you go, guys. This is the only ship Norwegian ever did like this. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. I just realized I never showed the balcony, so we just got our bags unpacked. We're all put away. So here is our balcony out here. Zoom out a little. We got two chairs, a table. And it's actually pretty wide and pretty deep. I'm, I mean, it's, it's a good balcony. I'm going to enjoy it. I think it's a little bit deeper than what we usually have on the Disney ship. So, I mean, I appreciate that. It's a good sized balcony. Again, we are a club balcony. So we are one step up from a regular balcony. That's what we had upgraded to. So anyway, there's a beautiful port. Look at that blue water. Terminals right down there. You can hear the music still going. They probably still got the tambourine dancers out from when we got on the ship, but yeah, we're gonna, I think, hang out in the room, relax a little bit. I think we're gonna head up here shortly and I'm not quite sure when we sail away. There's not really a party, but I think at five o'clock. There's a there's a paper navigator I can find out on. So that is one thing. They do have paper navigator styles for all you Disney cruisers. They have a paper itinerary you can look at. Well, Chris, Crystal was dancing, but that ended. Right now we got Despacito playing. We got, we got a DJ up over there. We had some cute old ladies dancing, but they left. Oh no, they're still out there. You just can't see them. Hats. They got their hats on. Maybe you can see them out there. We're just having a good time over here at the Wave Pool Bar. They got two bartenders, so it's a little chaotic. But we're still having a good time. Every situation is what you make of it. They were just dancing to Despacito. See, oh, there she goes again. All right, so I have found the Starbucks here on Norwegian Epic. It is on deck five. Right as, I guess... I'm being told this is like the atrium behind me here. Guest services is over here, but we have a full Starbucks. Crystal and I got the Starbucks package, which is, I believe it was $12 a day per person. And we drink enough coffee, we'll easily do that. But it looks like it's a full Starbucks. It looks like they have everything. So as there was no sail away party, we chose to watch us leave Barcelona from the Spice H2O Club, as you can see here. This is the adults only area. But I want to take this chance as we watch a sail away to talk about Norwegian dining. We chose to eat tonight at 5.30, right after the restaurants opened, right after sailing away. And what they do here is a freestyle dining. If they have space and you show up, 
You can eat whenever you want. There is no designated time unless you want to make a reservation. Now, specialty dining, they do recommend a reservation. I do too. Get those reservations as soon as you can. So tonight we chose to eat at the Manhattan Room. I like to describe it as like a cigar bar feel with dark woods and leathers and big, huge, tall windows that see out the back of the ship. And this is all the way located at the end of deck six. Like I said, back of the ship. Walk all the way through the casino that you see right there. Can't miss it. You're going to walk right into the Manhattan Room. Now, the menus do not change except for the daily choices. They will have some highlighted items that they want to highlight that day that they're making. But most of the time, your classic entrees and your appetizers, at least on this ship, they did not change. I went with a Caesar salad this evening. It had a nice dressing, had a good taste, had a good crunch, tasted fresh. Wish it had a few more croutons. As you see, there's just lightly sliced bread on there, but still good. The steak, highly disappointed in the steak. I love to have a good steak on that first night. It was not that great. They coated it in sauce, no seasoning. The fries were probably the best thing about this plate right here, honestly. It was not good at all. Now desserts, desserts were a different story. Desserts also do not change, except for they have a daily no sugar added dessert you can get. So you can go ahead and change it up there if you wanted that. Crystal got that blueberry cheesecake, it was delicious. If you need some espresso, get that espresso. If you have the Starbucks package, you're good. Right there's my tart. That tart was delicious, I will say. Dessert, very good. Steak, not so good. Our service definitely was not on par with what we had expected. So we just finished our dinner at the Manhattan Room. We came over here, we just made our way through the casino. And right here is the chandelier, which is in Taste, which is the other dining room here. This is at Midship. So you have two dining rooms, as I was saying, both with the same menu, just different ambiance. So we stopped in here at Trade Winds, which is basically Norwegian's merchandise. That's where they have everything. It's by all the shops on Deck 7 with watches, jewelry, all that stuff that you would find on a normal cruise ship. But, you know, I've never seen anyone else's merchandise, obviously, so... Thought I'd check it out. They got these nice dry fit polos. This one's kind of quit the hooked on cruising. I like that. I don't, know, I don't think we're going to get anything. I'm getting my ship model that I always get on every ship. And we'll stop in. I mean, we got, oh man, 10 days, 11 days still. So yeah, we got plenty of time to stop in here. See if we just have to have any of this stuff. So far, Crystal has said she does not. All right, well, if you are new around here, when Bryson is on the couch... That means it is the end of the day. And we have our little chat here with me on the couch about our day. Today was a day of all kinds of emotion. You know, it's our first time on a different cruise line, as I've said. It's our first time doing Norwegian, obviously. And sometimes new things are overwhelming. And today, I don't think I got too overwhelmed with anything, but just trying to learn the layout of a completely new ship is always a little stressful. But it wasn't too bad, actually. Like. I've kind of got my bearings and I know where a few things are and there was a lot of things that I was learning and I kind of completely forgot to film, but luckily we have 10 full days. So I can show you their version of what the atrium is and what it looks like, what, you know, we went down to guest services tonight just to look around and we were walking and it was packed. So I was like, man, I can't, I can't film here. Like there's so many people, you know, dinner, dinner was an experience as I talked about. Uh, we're hoping that improves. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't imperfect either. There was just some things that could be better, and hopefully they get better. You know, it was we had a big table, so I understand that things happen, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. We have Monaco is where we're going. We're docking in Cannes, and then we're taking a train to Monaco. We're just doing that on our own uh, with our friends. And I think we have dinner at the Brazilian Steakhouse, so one of their specialty dinings, which... I guess if you count Paulo as specialty dining, we've done it, but that's new for us too, doing a specialty dining. So, so yeah, that's really going to do it, guys, because jet lag is seriously a real thing. I have never experienced it in my life like I am right now. I could have fell asleep at dinner, and I'm kind of glad we walked around because it woke me up a little bit, but now it's time to shower and it's time to go to bed. So if you haven't done so already, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we release new videos all about life and all about this Mediterranean cruise. 
So that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. But most importantly, thank you all so much for stopping by. And for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need the two.